As Michel always says, hello there, my dear friends. This is Wouter from Rapper, and today I have a product update for you that is small but significant. You all know this little guy here. That's our sample selector, and it has served as well since day one. It's basically, you can move it around, you can resize it, it's snappy, it's fast. Great. The only problem with it is that sometimes, especially on busier images, it can be hard to see exactly where it is. And that makes it harder to see what you're actually selecting to make the pattern with. So we wanted to fix this. And normally how we do this is that we internally design and develop it and then we release it. But this time we wanted to involve our users. And so what we did was on our forum, that is forum.rapper.app, we posted the question, hey, this is what we want to do. We want to improve the selector and we have a few ideas. Let us know what you think. So basically, one idea was to use black and white outlines to really clearly frame it and to make sure that it works on dark images and light images. And another idea we had was to use a cutout. So that means that the rest of the image would be diminished a bit and that would put the focus on the actual selection. Now, you all voted. 42 people gave us that vote and we saw that the most of them, they preferred the gray cutout which I kind of did too, but I understood the critique that we got from some people saying, I don't want the rest of my image always to be grayed out. Fair point. So what we did was we actually combined the best of both worlds. And that's what I would like to show you now. So back to the image, right? Here we have the original selector as it used to be. And here is the new selector. So as you can see, it's quite a difference. The right one stands out a lot more. It's clear to see where the handles are. But what's even better is that if I hover over the image, you can see that now the rest of the image fades out and the selection becomes even clearer. So when I move it around, you can see exactly which part I'm picking up. And to go back to the challenging image here, right? So if I'm, if I'm hovering over the image now, you can clearly see the selector. Whereas on the left side, you have, it's almost like a, you know, where's Wally situation. So you can see works the same way, but now much easier to spot. And we've tested it with lots of images, dark ones like this and light ones, where it obviously stands out quite well too, because of the black lines. And overall, we're just, we've enjoyed a lot more uh, and we hope you will do too. And as a side note, um, this thing about trying it out online, like sharing with you the concepts, it really improved the end result. And so we're really excited about this way of kind of giving a sneak peek of what's cooking in the wrapper kitchen. And we are going to do this more in the future. So keep an eye on our forum. And if you want to, you can sign up and you can join the discussions there. So I hope to see you there. That was it for today. Take care and happy patterning. <laughs>